When it comes to solving a few of the most fundamental existential questions about Earth's origins and our place in the universe, scientists view space as, first and foremost, a fantastic playground, an unending supply of knowledge. The human species would not have progressed so far as it has without the drive to learn new things. From our earliest ancestors' discovery of fire to today's space travel, humankind's insatiable curiosity and hope for a better future have constantly pushed us forward. Using probability, scientists argue that it is likely that other kinds of life exist in the universe. UFO sightings have become a global phenomenon, but many individuals still refuse to accept the possibility of intelligent life beyond Earth. Likewise, some people have a hard time accepting the possibility that little green men from space are technologically superior to us humans. So there are different theories, and in particular, in this video, we'll be talking about the dwarf planet Haumea. Haumea is an icy world that lies in the Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped region of frozen worlds beyond the orbit of Neptune. It was originally classified as 2003EL61 and given the nickname Santa by one of the Discovery teams. The other confirmed dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt are Pluto, Eris, and Makimaki. Haumea is similar in size to Pluto, one of the solar system's fastest spinning major bodies. Its rapid rotation causes it to resemble a football in shape. However, Two separate groups have claimed to have discovered Haumea in 2003 and 2004. It was first detected on March 7, 2003 by José Luis Ortiz Moreno and his colleagues at the Sierra Nevada Observatory in Spain. However, on December 28, 2004, Mike Brown and his Caltech team discovered it at their Mauna Kea Observatory. To the Minor Planet Center, Ortiz and his group were the pioneers in submitting their findings, and the International Astronomical Union's standards say the discoverer of a celestial object is the person who initially submits a report with the necessary positional data that determines its orbit. Therefore, all the information we have about Haumea comes from ground-based telescopes in different parts of the Earth. Some people continue to argue passionately about whether or not Pluto qualifies as a planet. If you were to ask any astronomer, they would likely respond that if Pluto is a planet, then there are many other objects in the solar system that also merit planet status. One of the most peculiar big objects is Haumea. A NASA team has come up with a novel theory to explain how it got to be that way. It is difficult to get reliable information about Haumea due to its great distance. It is too small and very far away to be measured by a telescope on Earth, and no probe has ever travelled there. Therefore, academics with an interest went to computer models, a standard tool for astrophysicists. But in order for computer models to generate predictions, they require data. And there are few facts about Haumea that we know, although they are peculiar. One is its rapid rotation. A day on its surface lasts only four hours, significantly shorter than the day of every other object in the planetary system of comparable size. It also has an extended shape like an American football, rather than the more typical roundness seen in bodies of its size. Additionally, Haumea is accompanied by its family, which consists of smaller spheres of what could be water ice that floats in an orbit around the main body of Haumea. Yet these objects are not recognized as moons. To understand what led to this bizarreness, researchers would have to extrapolate data from the past in order to grasp the present. First, postdoctoral researcher at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, Jessica Noviello, created a model that takes as input only Haumea's size, mass, and rotation rate. A second model was then used as an iterative foundation to identify a creation process that reflected the current form of Haumea, with inputs from the first model including the size and density of the body's core. Modifying those input parameters for the final simulation led to a set of predicted results that could be compared to the observed data. 
and it shed light on a few intriguing phenomena that most likely occurred during Haumea's formation. Haumea orbits at a distance of around 35 astronomical units from the Sun, but at the farthest point in its orbit around 52 astronomical units separated from the Sun. In general, scientists agree that Haumea is a frozen rock or silicate body. Similar terrain features can be found on Pluto's largest moon, Charon. On average, Haumea's surface temperature is below 50 Kelvin, making it a very frigid location. This may partly be because sunlight has to travel a full six hours to reach it. In 2005, Darren Ragazzini and Michael Brown found Haumea's two moons. Using the WM Keck Observatory, they were able to determine that the spectra of the two moons and the dwarf planet are very similar, suggesting that the moons originate from Haumea and aren't just stowaways from elsewhere. The first was found on January the 26th, 2005. It is around 49,880 kilometers from Haumea. Possibly the largest moon of a trans-Neptunian object, its diameter is estimated to be around 310 kilometers, and it completes an orbit of Haumea every 49 days. Known both as Haumea 1 and Hiiaka, it may not be tidily bound to Haumea, which is an intriguing finding. Namaka, or Haumea 2, is the smaller moon. It wasn't detected until June 30, 2005. On average, scientists put Namaka's diameter at 170 kilometers. It is only 1.5% as brilliant as Haumea, and only 0.05% as massive. And a complete orbit of Haumea takes 18 days. Haumea's rapid rotation as it orbits the Sun is probably due to a collision between at least two objects in the distant past. It belongs to what scientists call a collisional family, objects formed in a collision in the early solar system era. The collision destroyed the objects and may have stripped away much of Haumea's primordial ice, leaving it as a massive rocky body covered in a thin layer of ice. Some readings suggest the presence of water ice on the ground. All indications are that this ice is quite recent, having been deposited a little more than 100 million years ago. Since UV radiation from the Sun darkens ice in the outer solar system, the presence of new ice on Haumea is evidence of recent activity. But what exactly that would be has not yet been determined. Research is needed to fully comprehend it. In 2017, astronomers discovered a narrow cloud of debris orbiting the Greenland-sized Haumea. The discovery of this dwarf planetary ring was made possible by a mini-eclipse caused when the dwarf planet crossed in front of a distant star, enabling precise measurements to be taken from Earth by telescopes. Haumea has either no atmosphere or an atmosphere with a surface pressure of less than 50 billionths of Earth's, as measured at sea level. Compared to the rings of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, Haumea's ring is very small, at only 70 kilometers in width. However, the discovery raised the possibility that rings around asteroids and minor planets are more common than was previously thought. But what do you think? Please tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, then please do give it a like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon to keep up to date on all the activity on the channel, and we'll see you next time.